This card is present at every of the long range pass off stations. To make sure that the laser tag gun is turned on, you'll be able to turn around and see it should be shining mostly in your face. And you need to verify that the laser tag gun is illuminating the area that is on the photo diodes. And if that's true, then you should have a signal coming in here that's very weak that will go into your receiver card to be amplified. When you plug in your receiver card, bear in mind this pin on the left is gonna be the nine volts and the ground is on the right. So those are your power rails for your whole system. Plug it into the card accordingly. It should be labeled nine volts on the left and ground on the right. When you plug it in, be very careful because the solder joints are the most likely thing to break. So press on the actual headers when you do that. And same thing when you pull it out. These boards are breaking because people are wiggling them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wiggle it. That'll cause the, the metal pieces to rip out and it will, it will break the pass off station. So just pull it straight out or push it straight in. These cables coming out at the top here are for your breadboard if you're not to the PCB stages yet. The red wire is connected to the nine volts as well and the black is ground as you might imagine. Um, and then this white wire is going to be the signal that's being fed in from the photodiodes. Into, so this is the signal into your filter, and the green is connected to your filter coming out, so the signal coming out of your filter. If you're using an oscilloscope, make sure that you are connected in some way. The probe should be connected to the green wire, and then you'll need to obviously ground the oscilloscope make sure that this card is actually on. There's a switch on the back and you should be able to see this red LED illuminate. If the LED is not on, the card is not on and you will get no signal. Mm -hmm.